Construction of Canada's future combat fleet begins at Irving Shipbuilding's Marine Fabricators Facility in Dartmouth where 32 people are involved in the computerized plasma cutting and delivery of 4,000 tons of steel each year in support of the AOPS program. The resulting 70,000 pieces are fabricated in a strategic sequence to meet the production schedule at Irving Shipbuilding's Halifax Shipyard, the most modern and largest indoor shipbuilding facility in North America. The steel weighs 3,734 kilograms, 3.7 tons, and will be used in a combination of locations on the ship, including the initial pieces that will begin the development of the keel. Upon completion, the future HMCS Robert Hampton Gray will be 103.6 meters in length, have a 19-meter beam, display 6,615 tons, and be comprised of 440,000 parts. Each AOPS vessel has over 300 kilometers of cable and more than 36 kilometers of pipe. To date, two AOPS have been delivered to the Royal Canadian Navy, HMCS Harry DeWolf and HMCS Margaret Brook. The future HMCS Max Bernays, AOPS 3, is due for delivery next month. The future HMCS William Hall, AOPS 4, recently moved all mega blocks to land level and is undergoing final assembly in preparation for launch later this year. The future HMCS Frederick Rolette, AOPS 5, officially laid the keel in June of this year and construction of the bow, midship and stern mega blocks are underway. Halifax Shipyard will also construct two AOPS variants for the Canadian Coast Guard, followed by 15 Canadian surface combatants for the Navy that are due to commence construction in 2024. The Royal Canadian Navy's RCN, 6th Arctic and Offshore Patrol Ship, AOPS, is named in honor of Lieutenant LT, Robert Hampton Gray, a Canadian naval hero of the Second World War. Lieutenant Gray joined the Royal Canadian Naval Volunteer Reserve in 1940 and served as a pilot in the Royal Navy Fleet Air Arm. He embarked in His Majesty's ship, HMS, formidable with 1841 Squadron, joining the war in the Pacific as part of Operation Iceberg, the invasion of Okinawa, Japan, in April 1945. Lieutenant Gray was awarded the Victoria Cross posthumously for courage and determination in carrying out daring airstrikes on the Japanese destroyer His Imperial Japanese Majesty's ship, HIJMS, Amakusa. Lieutenant Gray was known to his fellow military members as a courageous leader with a brilliant flying spirit, who continued to inspire and motivate his crew after his unfortunate passing. Lieutenant Gray was the only member of the RCN to be awarded the Canadian Naval Victoria Cross from the Second World War.